Hi, everybody. Welcome back to D Diets. Where are you, Denise? I'm in a cemetery. I want you to know. I just decided to take a drive. If you're new to my channel, give me a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the channel. Turn the notification bell on. That way you'll know when I am putting out another video. Well, I had to get out of my house. I'm going to be honest with you. I had to get out of my house. Welcome to week 10. Yeah. Um, this is week 10. This is the start of week 10. And I am sitting in a cemetery. Yeah, I am. I had to get out of the house. My husband just got out of my last nerve again. He did. He told me to shush and be quiet. Now, all I did was ask a question. That's all I did, people. I asked a question and I was told to be quiet. So I thought, no, no, I'm grabbing my keys and I'm getting the heck out of here. Um, let me be the first to introduce myself to you. Hi, um, I'm a food addict. So for the last 60 years of my entire life, anytime something bothered me, I would eat down my emotions. Aren't I the lucky one? Yes, I am. So today he aggravated me and I said to him, I'm leaving. I'm getting the hell out of here because I know the old D that lived in this body. And let's be real. I've been doing this plant-based thing for nine weeks and I'm trying my best to keep myself motivated and happy and inspired. And I hope I'm inspiring some of you as well. But there was no way I was staying in that house. There was just no way. I wasn't doing it. You know, no one's going to put, look, what do they say? No one's going to put baby on the shelf or whatever the hell that was called. No, you're not going to turn around and tell me to shush or be quiet or shut up. Nuh-uh. No. Not when I'm only asking a question because it touched your last nerve that I asked a question. So the old me would have said, well, I'll wait and then I'll eat something and then I'll eat some more stuff and then I'll keep eating. You know, I'll just eat down every emotion I have. Psychologically, that is a burn brain mentality. And it is. And it is. And don't ask me why I'm in a gosh John cemetery. I don't even know this cemetery. But it was quiet here. There was going to be no one to bother me here. Uh, I know that sounds terrible, but it's the truth. So I'm sitting over here now. And I'm contemplating on what the old Denise would have done. Because, again, like I said to you guys... I'm only doing this nine weeks. It's not like I've been doing this for 10 years and I know that my head is in the right, right, uh, the right head space. It's not. It's not. Because as soon as I felt that pressure build up in me, the first thing I thought about was, I want to grab something. I want to eat something. Eat it down. Eat, at, eat down your emotion. This is huge, my friends. This is huge. And if you are somebody that is a food addict, and I am a food addict, um, who has eaten down their emotions their entire life, you know, it's not that I didn't speak up. I, You have got to be kidding me that there is somebody coming into the cemetery right now. Seriously. Oh, I really thought I could get away with this and be quiet over here. I'm just hoping they don't park like right next to me. I really am hoping they don't park like right next to me. Please go find a place to park. Um, just give me two seconds. Okay, they traveled on. <laughs> Please, I swear. <laughs> anyway, um, so getting back to emotional eating. If you are somebody that has emotional e ate their whole entire life, then you do understand this conversation we're about to have. I am not proud of that fact that I have done that. And psychologically, I know that has really played a number on my life because I never really wanted to express maybe all my emotions and express who what I was feeling. Instead, I just ate them down. And I did that for a really long time. So if there's anybody listening to me right now that is an emotional leader that has uh, ate down their emotions for most of their life, Let's be real. You don't get to 320 pounds without eating down every emotion there could possibly be. And I've been doing it for a very long time. A very long time, my friends. And I'm trying to break that cycle. So, I haven't weighed myself. But the last time we weighed in was 202. We won't weigh it until the end of week 12. But... I've been really trying to break that habit, that cycle of, oh, something bothered you, turn to food. I want to do it no more. 
I don't want to do it no more. And it's scary. I'll, I'll be honest with you because I don't know where to stick my emotions. Um, I'm not really letting them out. I'm still harboring them. I'm still keeping them deep down inside me. Deep down in my soul. That's where they are. And I don't say too much. Oh, God. Here comes this person again. Seriously? Who are you possibly visiting for that short of a time? Wow. They didn't even get out of their car. They just they just drove past it. Must have been real love life over there. <laughs> So bad. Uh, but I'm not perfect. And I caught myself today. This was a big tell for me because the minute I felt overwhelmed in my own head, I was like, there's a refrigerator. There's the grocery store. I can go. I can grab some stuff. I'll grab my potato chips and pretzels and sit and I'll eat them and I'll go to my car and I'll br I'll buy peanut M and M's and who's gonna know? I'll throw away the I'll throw away the bags before anybody knows. That is where my head was at today. That's where my head was at, and I got so damn aggravated at myself. Let me stop my car. I'll stop moving around. Now there's people walking in the cemetery. You know what? I swear I came here just to have peace and quiet because these people weren't going to bother me in any way. Oh, my Lord. Let's continue, shall we? Let's just continue driving. All right, so if you have had this happen to you, if you are an emotional eater, please, please let me know in the, in the comments below. You know, it figures I waved at the person and I knew who they were. They probably thought, what the hell is she doing here? Oh, God. I'm a miss. I'm a mess. Which, which way am I going? Which way do I want to go? I don't know. I'll go this way. Who cares? Who cares? I'm not rushing right home. So, emotional eating was definitely going to do it today. Caught myself and said, you're worthy, Denise. You're worthy of more than just st sit sitting down and eating a bunch of shit that you don't need. Sorry, guys. I just got myself so upset. Because I thought to myself, you got to be kidding me, man. This is what you're going to do. This is what you're going to do. You're going to turn around and you're going to turn to food. You fool. And that's how I felt. You fool. Don't do that to yourself. Oh, God. The camera's... You know what? These are really winding roads around here. And they are. So the, the camera is just like deciding to do its own thing. Yeah, it is. So now I'm in some sort of wooded area. I pulled over just for a minute just to say the rest. Yeah, you fool. For trying to eat down your emotions once again and didn't. And didn't. And I'm proud of it. And I'm damn proud of it that I didn't do that. But I know that I'm not alone. And I know I'm not the only one that's done that. Where you just feel trapped in how you're feeling and you just turn to food I ain't doing it no more I ain't doing it no more I'm worthy of more than that I'm mer worthy more than a bag of chips or a bag of potato chips or pretzels or anything else and I'm sure if somebody is looking out their gosh damn window right now they're going but that lady is pulled over in the wooded area and she's just talking to herself yeah I am <sighs> this just got to me this got to me it is the strangest thing, but I know I'm not alone, and I got friends out there that are just like me. That just like I'm sure you, some of you are like me, that you have probably emotionally ate your feelings down your entire life, and I did, and I have been, and because I'm starting to feel my self worth and who I am, I want to, and then I want that cycle to stop. It's not just about losing weight. I've done that a million times. Psychologically. And you shouldn't be shamed. Psychologically, you got to get this working the correct way. This has got to be working right. 
and believe me guys I don't go around being a sad sack all the time I'm not but I caught myself today I caught myself today yeah I did I caught myself today saying go ahead go eat something who's gonna know who's gonna know I'll know I'll know breaking cycles and breaking habits and I think that is what all this talk to you guys was about. Breaking a cycle and breaking a habit. And some hard habits are hard to change. But I'm proud of myself. I didn't, I didn't give in to my thoughts. I didn't give in to them. And I'm proud. And I'm proud. Because believe me, my friends, I would have. I don't want to get myself upset. I'm in a car where there's nobody really around. But it's a milestone for me. It's a milestone. It may not be a milestone for you. But it's a milestone for me. Not to do this. What's in that refrigerator? What's in that cabinet? Let me go over to the grocery store and go get some real junk food and pound it down. Will I have more occasions where I'm going to feel like this? Yes. But this time, I was alert. This time, the light bulb went off and said, don't do it. Don't be a schmuck. Don't do this to yourself anymore. Stand strong. And I did. And I'm proud of just that little bit. Well, my friends, I don't want to keep you as long. I'm very happy that you're here with me. I'm very happy that you're going on this journey with me. This was not really a fun journey to take today, I'm sure, for a lot of you. And I hope I didn't trigger any emotions in you. But until I see you all the next time, my friends, be kind to one another. The heart. That's all that's ever going to matter. And if somebody makes you feel the fool, or somebody makes you feel small, I hope you remember this chat. And you pat yourself on the back. And you just keep on going. If you're trying to lose the, your weight, and you're trying to get your health back on track, you remember our little talk. Or go and repeat it. I don't care. Or you might know somebody that says, you know what? I know somebody like D. I'm going to share this video to them. I will see you soon. I'm going to get out of this uh, area that I'm in right now. <laughs> I'm off in a ravine somewhere. <laughs> I love you guys. Thank you so much for coming. I appreciate it. I know I'll see you all soon. Bye-bye.